Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hello, I'm Alicia. So this is not a typical video of mine. I don't film stuff talking about technology, but about an hour ago, I posted on my Instagram story. Here's my Instagram. Um, a screenshot of my home screen, and I received many questions about how I achieved that whole look, the whole aesthetic, how I customized it, and all that fun stuff. So there's a lot of material to cover, and I just thought to myself, I can't write this down. Filming a YouTube video is definitely the best way to show you guys how I achieved the look that I have on my iPhone. And I think what makes this video a little bit different from the videos that I watched when I was trying to learn how to do the new update is that I designed my own app icons instead of going on Pinterest or Google or even Etsy and buying the app icon or the app cover I know like many people were saying to like look up Instagram story covers instead of doing that and having to deal with the whole process I just designed everything myself it was super easy super fast and if you're curious on how I did that then keep on watching this video because I think that's the best route to go in my opinion so like I said there's a lot to cover so I'm just going to try to keep this as short as possible and just keep on moving with stuff so the first thing is obviously that you need to update your phone to the newest ios ios <laughs> you need to update your phone to the newest ios update which is ios 14 so once you have that then you can go ahead and do all this fun stuff with your iphone so firstly your first order of business is to go on the app store and to download an application called widget smith so this is what gives you those widgets on your iPhone and what many people are talking about and customizing their phones with. So for example, if you look on my home screen, you see a calendar and then you also have two photos that is from Widget Smith and also has the name of the application underneath. So that is one way you can customize your phone and I will walk you guys through how I do that. So click on Widget Smith and Let's do, I'll do this medium widget for an example. So you click on add medium widget and then you click on the one you want to customize. Click on it again. Personally, I feel like this app is a little bit redundant because there's so many different like things you have to click on and so many different folders in a way, but it's pretty easy. It's just kind of tedious getting to know how to work the application. So you can customize the widget, hi hey Harper, and also what exactly the widget shows and displays. So you can have time, dates, photos, which is how I did the two small icons. And then you can have a calendar, reminders, weather, which is locked for people who use the free version. Sorry, my dog's right here. There's a, um, unlocked version where you can pay a monthly or yearly subscription to use widget smith in my opinion that which is not needed for me because i have so many other monthly subscriptions so i opted out for that but if you do want to see the weather you can go ahead and buy that and then you also have health activity tides and astronomy that is my dog harper go lay down all right, so for this example, I'm just gonna use date and time. So that's already selected. Then you can go down to font, which that will change the font style. So for this one, let's do, let's do typewriter. That one's kind of fun. So I'll click on that and then you can change the tint color, which is just another way of saying the font color. So I'm just gonna stick to white and then the background color. So you have different options for like the opacity of the background, but then you can also choose some really fun colors. So let's do, I really like this blue green. That's a cool color. And then you also have the option for a border. I personally am not a fan of that look. So I'm just gonna select none. And then go back to medium number three, hit save and it's saved. And now you're probably wondering, okay, so I made the widget, but then how do I get it on my home screen? So what you're going to do is you're just going to press down on an empty space on your home screen. And you'll see that this allows you to edit your... Oh my goodness, what do you want? <sighs> I was say. All right, so then... And then you'll see that there's a little arrow on the left side. 
go ahead and click that and then just search widget smith click on it and then choose the size of the widget that you want to add so we chose a medium size I'm going to click on the blue add widget button and you may notice it's the exact same as the first one I have so I'm going to show you how you can edit that so click done then press down on the widget and you'll see it says edit widget click on that click on medium and then you see you have one two and three I'm going to click on the third one because that's the one that I just used as an example. Exit out of that and you'll see the widget is right there. So that is one really easy way they can customize your phone. And it's also really fun. So play around with the colors, with the fonts, with whatever you want to display. I think it's a lot of fun. And I like how you have a small, medium, and a large icon size. I think it's really cool. So the last thing I'm going to show you for Widget Smith is how to add these photos. So these are two images that I grabbed off of Pinterest. They are not mine. However, you can add your own photos and I'll show you that. So when you go on to Widget Smith, you'll see for these small icons, I just like how they look when they're small, um, you can customize by hitting photo. So I'm going to hit select a photo, choose my photo and let's do this marble one going to exit out hit save and then do the same thing of holding down on my screen adding widget smith small add hit done and then press down to edit the widget go to small three and then there is my image so it's another really simple and easy fast effective way to add some color some texture some life to your whole iphone and i think it's also really fun because you can choose your own photo of like your your pet <laughs> like if you aren't crazy like me and your pet is your screensaver already so now you're probably wondering, all right, so how did you create, I just kicked my camera, you're wondering how did I create these little icons and customize them all myself. So for that, I'm going to hop on my laptop and show you guys how I designed them. All right, so I have my laptop here. So I'm going to go on a website called Canva. And Canva is a really, really cool website platform. I believe they also have an app they can download on your phone. I personally just use it on my laptop because I work better like that. But I discovered Canva when I was in college because I was a PR major and I was not wanting to use PowerPoint and not wanting to use Google Slides just because I don't find them to be aesthetically pleasing. So I found Canva and I started using it to design my presentations while I was in college and it was really cool and I got many compliments on it and my PowerPoints always stood out. So I highly recommend Canva if you are in college and in a creative field because it will just amplify and enhance your presentations or whatever designs you may want to use it for but it's also a way that I design my own icons. So how I do that is I click on any dimensions that I want. So for instance, say I want for my icon, I know I definitely want a square. So they have these logos here. I know those dimensions are perfect square. So I'll just click on that. That way I don't need to like customize my dimensions. Go ahead and delete this. One other important thing I want to share about Canva is that it is free. However, in order to access certain things on the site and certain elements and get rid of watermarks, you will have a premium membership, which is like a monthly payment of, I think, around $12.99, which for me, especially when I was a student, it was well worth it because I was using it honestly like every day and I still use it a lot for my social media and for my blog so I highly recommend Canva I think it's a very good investment and it's not a whole bunch of money for a monthly payment so once I have my blank document what I'm going to do is make sure I'm still screen recording um, I'm going to do a little trick so I'm going to add a page 
and under uploads I already have a photo uploaded so this is a photo I downloaded from Pinterest and I really like the whole color palette and the scheme of it so I'm going to put that on my second page and you'll see in Canva if you click the background right here background color it gives you this option right here for photo color so any photos that's part of the document it'll pick up on the most prominent colors and give you the swatches already that way you don't have to go into new color and kind of play around and teeter with this because for me I find it's very difficult to do so I highly recommend just finding a photo with colors you really love and using that for your background so what I'm going to do is click on one of these colors I love muted colors as you can see so I'm gonna click this really pretty muted light brown and that is my background color so then from here I'm going to go on elements and the really cool thing especially when you have premium on Canva is they have icons to pretty much every single social media out there so say I want something like Facebook I'll type in Facebook and you can see you have all of the icons which is pretty amazing so I'm going to click on this one and you can change the color to white or whatever color you may want. I'm going to choose white for mine. And then I'm just going to increase the size of mine. I believe I did all of my icons like 33, 33, geez, 330 width by 330 height. And then you just center it. And there you go there's an icon right there it's so easy so fast and it's a lot easier than like searching all throughout the internet searching through Pinterest going through Etsy try and find an aesthetic that fits you when you can just customize it yourself I'm going to save this as just Facebook and then I'm going to download it as a PNG probably just do a JPEG as well but I'm, I've always just done PNG. Um, I'm going to just select page one because I don't need the second page for this document. Download it. And then I'm going to airdrop this to my phone. All right, so once you have the photo on your phone, you're then going to go on shortcuts on your phone and you'll see I have my shortcuts made already, but for this example, I'll create a brand new one. So I'll click on the little plus button and then hit add action. I'm going to search open app, click on that, click on choose, and we are doing Facebook, so I'm going to select Facebook. From there, you'll see on the right-hand corner these three little dots. I'm going to select that, type in Facebook, and then click in the blue, it says Add to Home Screen. Click on that, name it Facebook again, or whatever you wanna do, I don't think it really matters. And then you'll see on the left-hand side, there's a little image, and then it's like a blue border. I'm going to click on, clicked on that, I'm going to click on that, hit choose photo, and then choose the photo that I want as the app icon. Select choose, and then hit add. And then it says add it to home screen, awesome. Click done, click done. And you'll see when I come out, there's a little Facebook icon right there that is my customized icon. So it is so easy to do that. I did it all for my home screen i just changed the background colors and obviously changed the icon symbol but that is such an easy way that you can have full control of how your phone looks and it's really fun and i really enjoyed designing my own icons the sun's leaving me so i don't know how important this is it may be a little bit redundant but i will also show you how i made my dock apps the apps in my dock station, whatever it may be called. So I have my mail, my phone, text, or messages, and then my Spotify. But of course, I wasn't able to like get those title names the way I wanted them to be and the way I wanted them to fit. So I just renamed it like my phone. I just renamed it call. So I'm gonna hop back on my laptop and show you guys how I did that. All right guys, so we are back on Canva here. 
and I'm just going to delete this Facebook icon. I will change the background color. Yeah, that's kind of like a purple gray, right? So I'm going to have that as my background and then I'm going to go into text, add a heading, and then for instance, let's call this one, I don't even know what to call it. Let's call this one notes. So I'm going to type that in and then go and change the font. I believe the font I chose was this one here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to click on that. And I'm also actually, let's go back in and type in all caps because I like that whole look. Up here it says spacing. I'm going to change the spacing of the letters to be more spaced apart. That looks about good. And then I'm going to change the size of it. Let's do, oh, might be a little bit too big. 88 is perfect. So I'm going to center everything and I'm also going to change it to white. Awesome, so that is an icon right there. Type in notes. I'm going to download the first page. And then again, just airdrop this to my cell phone. So the reason why I made these icons that had like the name on it is because when you add it to your dock, you can't see what the name of it is. So you see how you have like Facebook underneath written out and then you have notes to written out. That all gets lost when you add it to this little dock station. I just preferred being able to see what the applications are. So for instance, the one we just created notes, when you drop it down here, you see that it completely disappears and then you just see like the icon image itself. So that was very helpful for me and I think it's also more like aesthetically pleasing and it kind of breaks things up when you have so many like chunky icons. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Honestly, at first, when I saw everyone posting about this update and customizing their iPhone, I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm like, that just looks like it's so much tedious work and I don't feel like going through the whole process. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I fell into the trap and I really, really do love how my phone turned out. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comments and I will reply back to you. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, please send me any inspiration and send me what your home screen looks like because I think because I think it's really fun to compare and to also just see the creativity of other people. I think it's really exciting. So if you did like this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next video.